Next up, we have Miss Candace J. Candace is a mixed media artist who loves clay sculpture, cake decorating, polymer clay, jewelry making, wire work, paper arts, and collage. And her work is all about whimsy. Candace now lives in Utah and she has just received the official title of the Cool to Craft Creative Play News. Today, Candace has designed her project with this month's creative play theme in mind. And I'm delighted to welcome Miss Candace J. Welcome, Candace. Hi, from Utah. This is Candace, the Cool to Craft Creative Play News. In case you haven't heard, creative play is like an invitation to take a brain vacation. Each month, we'll submit a theme for your consideration. And the themes are meant to be creative spark generators or creative palette cleansers, if you will. What we ask is that you take the theme and play with it. Have fun with it. Make it your own. Interpret the theme any way you want with any medium that you want. And then tell us about it. Post a photo and blog about it over at the Cool to Craft Creative Play Group at the Hive. The theme for this month for September is, say it with me, the crown. We asked you to tell us about your royalty. What are you king of, or queen of, or goddess, or emperor? Tell us all about it. We've gotten some fabulous submissions. Today, I'm playing the role of mistress of creative, of delicious mischief. That's the one. So I would like to talk about cupcakes. Cupcakes are wildly popular right now. They have been for a while. And I've started seeing cupcake sleeves pop up in the grocery stores and the craft stores with different themes. But I wanted to try and design my own. So if you could put up the slide, please, Linda. I will adjust my craft can. All right. I'm ready. So the first thing that I did was measure the diameter of the bottom of the cupcake. And then I played with different arches until I got one that wrapped around just right and had the shape that I wanted. And then I laminated it because I want to be able to use it over and over. I hope you guys can see it. Okay, good. So I'm going to post that template for you to download free sometime today when I figure it out. And then you'll cut it out and you will trace the crown onto cardstock that's nice and sturdy. Okay. So once you've traced all the way around it, you want to make sure that you've marked where your tab is and where your slit will be. And then you can cut it out. I like to use small craft scissors because they're, they're easy to maneuver around. And when you're cutting out the crown, you'll notice my template was not perfect. It was a little warped, like me, but that's what I like. If you like perfect, go for it. That's fine. Okay, so when you're done cutting it out, you want to make sure that it's going to go together just right. So you'll fold the tab and slide it in. And you can try setting a cupcake into it to make sure that this one I know is just right. So now let's think about decoration. On the one that I've made for the photo, my example one, I used micro glitters and blue and whoops. And that took a pretty long time, so I figured if I'm going to do it that way, that's going to be for just a few, maybe half a dozen cupcakes. Glitter, is that the one I just used? <laughs> Glitter glue is more fun and spontaneous, and you can involve the kids with it. They love it. My grand nieces and nephews love when Crazy Aunt Candy gets the glitter glue out. All right. Now, 
if you have the time for the glue, <laughs> the glue I'm missing something. If you have time for glitter glue, that's fine. It takes a few hours to dry, maybe more, because kids like to put a lot of it on. So if I can get this one apart, maybe not, that's all right, I'll show you. I figured if I was in a big hurry, I would get out a big hole punch and some of my scraps and poke out dots and put them on the inside. And I would do it on the outside too. I'd do a lot more of them if I were doing that for the main piece. But you can see the inside too. So you do want to decorate that. And then you put your cupcakes in. And voila!